Uh, Evie, you had 11 points tonight, and then you had to go and get in a fight. What happened there? Yeah, it's just, I guess, one of those things. Uh, you know, it was a good crowd tonight. Uh, you know, the guy whacked me a couple times, and, you know, I thought we had a good, I think, seven or eight goal lead at the time. So, you know what? I just had to see if I still had it in me. So, uh, overall, it was a good team effort all around. But, uh, you know, I probably didn't need to finish with a fight there, but uh, it happened, and, you know, I just got to move on. Did you know at the time that you had a point on every one of your goals tonight? Uh, I, I had an idea that, uh, you know, I, the, the stick was uh, feeling good and, uh, you know, the ball was moving around. And, uh, you know, I know a couple of them went in for me tonight. So, uh, you know, I knew, I knew it was close up there. But overall, you know, I thought overall we, we moved the ball well and the ball was swinging. And, uh, and uh, if you look at the score, we put up 15 goals tonight. So it was good overall. Well, I went in between periods and looked up what the record was for most points in a single game because I thought maybe you were going to take a run at it. It was 21 by Sean Williams, but uh, I guess I didn't need to. <laughs> well, you know what? I probably didn't have to. Probably didn't have to do that, but you know that's part of the game, and sometimes it happens, and that's part of my uh, part of my game. This was like the last hurdle you guys had to kind of get over to set up that first place game on Tuesday night, right? Like, if yeah. You, if you'd lost tonight, it might have been dicey, but now you've got your own fate in your own hands, right? Well, absolutely, but saying that, we do play uh, Coburg the last game, and they, they have beat us once this year, so we always, they, they always play good against us, and we always got to be ready, but the biggest game of the year is going to be, it's going to come down to Tuesday, and uh, we knew that it was going to come down to this, and uh, we just got to be ready, focused, and uh, ready to play our game. It seemed, though, like the offense, and not just yourself, but everybody was kind of clicking tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you got guys like Curtis Dixon, uh, Cobb Buchanan, Turner Evans, uh, Adam Jones, you know, guys like that. Guys, every guy can shoot the ball, and we're moving the ball like we did tonight. And, uh, you know, I feel like we're playing together. We're playing as a team, and, uh, you know, we need that right now going into uh, playoffs. How much is that Tuesday game on your mind as, uh, as this game ended? Oh, it's definitely been there. It's kind of been that circled on the calendar, but uh, unfortunately I won't be able to make make it on Tuesday night, oh, really? which uh, is going to be tough. Uh, I had prior commitments, so uh, hopefully the boys uh, can uh, rally and, and get that win. What do you do? I have to go to Rhode Island. Okay, the nationwide thing? Or? Yeah, I guess something that I booked prior to the, before the season. Yeah. So. Uh, so this was your third game in three nights. How did, where did you guys find the energy? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we knew this was a big week, uh, having three games in four nights. Uh, you know, that was our big hurdle. And uh, you know what? I think we responded well. I think uh, we played we played how we needed to play. You know, I know uh, last night uh, in Brooklyn, we, we struggled a little bit at times. But we found that second gear to uh, step it up a notch and, and come out with the win. So overall, it was uh, a good week. Okay, good.